propel dozens of shots. To make one, they unroll some steel and straighten it out. Then, a punch press descends with 110 tons of force, cutting the steel into discs. Simultaneously, a machine moves up from below to shape the discs into cups. The cups move down a vibrating lane. They're delivered to a series of cylindrical punches, each one with a smaller diameter than the last. Each successive punch lengthens and narrows the cups, as nozzles flush them with lubricant. The process is called redrawing, and at the end of it, the cups look more like test tubes. In just a few minutes, the steel has undergone several transformations. To continue shaping the tubes, they heat the ends by dropping them through an induction coil. Intense magnetic fields excite the molecules in the metal, causing it to heat up rapidly. This machine is called a necker. As it revolves, it delivers the tubes to a series of dies that pinch their ends. With each pinch, the ends get progressively smaller. This creates necks in the tubes. As the diameter of the neck narrows, the tube takes the shape of a bottle. Now, each cartridge goes on a lathe. A cutting tool plunge cuts the neck to shorten it. Then it carves out a lip. 